What's up, fellas? What we're looking at here is a 500,000 BTU flame. And the purpose of this video is to develop a product that can maintain this flame. If you were to just run this flame for over a half hour, eventually you would lose so much bottle pressure that you couldn't keep the flame this high. So I'm working on a liquid fuel torch that can maintain these high outputs that a butane or a propane torch can but without having to worry about cold weather conditions limiting the power of the device. So in this video, we see the development of that system. Okay, so here's a closer look at the gun. I'm gonna be doing some modifications to this nozzle today. We're gonna to bore out that tip a little bit and see if we can get this thing to run a high velocity flame in the 100 to 120 kilowatt zone. Additionally, I wanted to show you guys the effects of this accumulator that I added. In the first video, I said I didn't want to do this because of cost. I'm trying to keep the cost of the steam axe down as much as possible. You're looking at about 20 bucks right here after it's all said and done for this accumulator. And it works out flawlessly. It completely eliminates any noticeable pulsation. So here we can see and hear the noticeable pulsation, which is kind of acting like AC power. So it has a power factor. So it's not pure DC power like what we're seeing here, which is just constant flow, far more actual wattage involved here. So no pulsation at all, looking real nice. I don't like the fact that I had to spend that extra money on the accumulator though, because this thing's gonna end up costing like a grand when it's all said and done. And here to look at the two different flows. The one on the right you can clearly see is pulsating. The one on the left is a nice clear flow. A couple little air bubbles get through every once in a while and make it look like it might be pulsating but... So here's our benchmark test. We're going to take a look at this flame before we do the nozzle modification that's going to increase the power and this is what we come up with. Okay, this is a high fire mode test. We are running the 3.5 millimeter orifice just to see how high we can get the flame without it going out and we're going to see what the output is at that rate. Okay, fellas, so even with the 3.5 millimeter air annular orifice, we still outdid the performance of the butane or the propane torch. I don't know why I keep wanting to say butane. So that's a good sign. And as I said, that propane torch cannot maintain that 500,000 BTUs when the, bo the bottle gets cold from boil off. So I'm kind of loving this. Now you may ask, well, why isn't the flame the same size? This is an air compressor augmented flame. So the amount of air that is being put into this flame is probably 10 to 15 times more air as what we're seeing in the propane flame. So that's how we're able to dump more fuel into a smaller flame. And um, it looks like the flame isn't much bigger, but it's actually more powerful. Okay, so the accumulator worked amazing, as you can see. Now we're going to remove this nozzle. And I'm gonna bore out the air nozzle. The velocity's too high, I can tell. Before I can reach the high velocity flame we have in mind, the turbulence becomes more than this combustion chamber can handle and we get a flame out. The whole thing's just thrown right out the combustion chamber. We need a higher power high velocity flame because I can't have a big huge feathering yellow flame out here. We're gonna be hooking this thing up to a monotube steam boiler. All right guys, so here it is with the thing bored out and wow, did that make a difference. I don't know what we're running at right here on high velocity mode, but this thing is definitely cranking out way more power than it was with the 3.5 millimeter orifice. Okay guys, so the whole premise of all this testing was to outperform the Zeus burner, which I am currently using in the steam machete that I sell. So we had to beat 37,000 watts. We did that in the first video at 45,000 watts, however I had a hunch that altering the geometry of the annular air orifice would enable us to achieve a high velocity flame with far more power in the same combustion chamber. But um, it would keep us from having these flame outs. So pretty much smashed the objective on these tests here. 
Okay, now we're going to do some high fire testing. How big of a flame can we get this thing to produce? So essentially in conclusion guys, we were able to outdo the propane torch by 90,000 BTUs and we can actually maintain that amount of power indefinitely, no matter how cold it is outside. I decided to try another high velocity flame. This is the optimum setting for the high velocity and it gives pretty good results. I think this is going to work out great for the Steam Axe. It came out at uh, pretty much the same as last time, but other than that, it's just, just amazing how changing the annular orifice from 3.5 millimeters to 3.9 millimeters could give us such a boost in performance. So next time we see this thing, it's going to have a 40-foot monotube boiler connected to the front of it. And we're going to be ripping some tar off some road equipment. Hopefully it works out great. Not too shabby.